Alright guys, welcome to your 49th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson we're just going to be making this website look a little bit prettier because this is so ugly looking I think I'm going to throw up if I don't do anything to it soon. So go ahead and hop over to your CSS file and remember we have two big boxes here that's what she said a left box and a right box and the left box just go ahead and reference it by a left box ID let's just go ahead and first float this baby to the left which basically means push it to the left whenever there's space now let's go ahead and give it a padding of 20 pixels just so our form whenever we make a box around it a border around it rather then it isn't butted right up against the border so let me just add my border add something noticeable three pixels solid and red so this is pretty much going to make a box that fits to the size of the elements and it's just going to be pushed to the left now let's go ahead and do that same thing with the right box easily actually you know what I think it would have taken less time if I didn't even copy that but yeah definitely with all these mistakes and crap okay now right box what we want to do is add a few more properties the first thing we want to do is float this baby to the left which basically means okay this box is already going to be pushed against the left just push this in the next place available we want to give this one a set width because by default it has this stuff in it but some of you guys might not put anything in there at all so if we don't give it a set width then it might just appear as a little line on some browsers or not appear at all on other browsers so let's just go ahead and give it a set width of like 250 pixels that should be enough and now what I want to do is in order not to have it butted up immediately against the other box we want to give it a margin but we only want to give it a margin on the left hand side so margin left of 20 pixels is going to give it space between this box and the box to the left of it which was appropriately named left box now let's go ahead and give it some padding 20 pixels would do just fine and give it a border that is the exact same as this one but I want to make this one blue blue so let me go ahead and save this and check it out alright so let me move this so you guys can see so basically what we have is this red one is the left box that has and you see the padding around of 20 pixels and this right one is called the right box and this margin left is this what gives us this 20 little pixels of padding right here or margin padding something else but anyways now that our website is looking pretty dang good I think what we can do is hop over and start coding the functionality to it because check it out what this program basically gonna do is it's gonna store a variable for us and technically they're I don't even know if they're called variables I think they're called like a key in values or keys but it's basically like a variable so whenever our user goes to the website they're gonna enter something like a username and a password now whenever we store this it's gonna go ahead and save it on their computer well there are different ways that we can save it I'll talk about that later on but what we want to do is we want to save this information so then you know if they go to other websites or excuse me go to other websites or web pages or if they browse around our website we have that information stored and they don't have to enter their username every single time so in order to store that we need to use something called the web storage API and that's what this save button is going to do so right now it doesn't do anything but in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to code it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys then